hey everyone welcome back so this is the another scenario based power bi interview questions that has been asked by the tcs interviewer during the recruitment process of power bi developer job role okay so before moving into the questions let me show you this is one data set called as the sales table okay and if you want to see the data just click on this table view and this sales table contain two column one is product name and another is a sales amount all right these are the two columns that we have in this sales table okay so based on these two columns of the sales table we want to create it means we have to create a column chart okay so in this column chart in the x axis we have to take the product name from this sales table okay and in the y axis it means here we will take the sales amount so after selecting this column chart we have dragged this product name into the x axis and we have dragged the sales amount into the y axis and then the output will look like this okay so now our requirement is that in this column chart we want to see the x axis value in this particular chart in the order of refrigerator first it means the first column should show the data for the refrigerator then second column should show the data for the tv then third one is for mobile phone then ac then cooler okay it means this x axis sequence will be in this order it means first bar should show for the refrigerator then second one should show the data for the tv then mobile phone then ac then last bar should show the data for the cooler okay so let me show you the output okay so that it will be easy to understand all right so now here you can see this is the output okay so previously when we are dragging the product name in the x axis and sales amount in the y axis the chart is looking like this right and the sequence of this x axis is by default in this sequence okay but our requirement is that we have to show the refrigerator first okay instead of second then we want to see the tv data in the second column then in the third column we want to see the mobile data then in the fourth column we want to see the ac and the last one is for cooler okay so the sequence of this bar will on the basis of this refrigerator tv mobile phone ac and cooler so anyhow we want to sort this value in this sequence or in this order okay so let's see how we can do this so let me remove this image from here first okay So now to achieve the result we have so many different way by the help of which we can make that sequence but the easiest way is first of all we have to go to this home tab and inside this here we can a options call as the enter data but before that you have to go to this sales table okay and inside this sales table here you can see these are the product name okay so out of this product name you have to find out all the distinct value but by default on this particular table this product name contain all the value in distinct way it means all the value are, are appearing only for once right but by default on this particular table this product name contain all the value in distinct form it means all the value are appearing only for once right if it is having the duplicate value then you have to first of all find out all the distinct value from this product name column of the cells table okay then you have to again go to this report view then you have to click on this enter data tab then you can see a this type of pop-up over here then what you have to do in the first column you have to rename it as product name okay because we want to sort the product name okay that's why we are renaming the first column as the product name and here you have to enter all the distinct value okay whatever is available in the product name of the sales table column so these are the value right so let me enter all this name over here okay so here you can see whatever value is available on the product name column of the sales table those value i have written on this particular column okay but remember whatever value that is available on the product name column of the sales table that should be same as it is you have to write the same name on this particular product name column as well after that you have to check the sequence after that you have to click on this plus icon and here you have to rename it as the order all right and then here you have to give the order for all this product 
okay so as per the requirement first bar should show the data for the refrigerator right so you have to assign the refrigerator as the one okay then next is tv right so you have to give the order number two to tv okay then third is mobile phone so here you have to give the number as three all right then ac so here you have to enter the four then cooler should be a come at the last so you have to give the order number as five all right then here you have to rename it as the sort table okay then click on this load button and here you can see we have successfully created a sort table and if you will expand this inside this you can see we have two column that is order and the product name right and in the sales table also we have two column that is product name and the sales amount okay then the next thing that we have to do is you have to go to this model view and then here you have to create the relationship between these two table okay but here you can see this relationship is already by default created by the power bi right that is on the basis of product name correct so everything is okay then go to this report view again then just click on this particular chart okay then control c do control plus b to paste that particular chart okay then just give the alignment then in this particular chart we have to give the sequence to this particular x-axis right so that particular x-axis should be in the sequence of this correct so here what we will do this product name column is coming from the sales table so now we will remove this product name from the sales table and we will drag this product name from the sort table okay this is a sort table and this is a product name so we have to drag the product name column from the sort table and put it in the x-axis okay and now here also you are able to see this sequence is as per the previous one so how can we achieve the sequence like this for that first of all you have to click on this particular product name column okay then once you will click on this automatically it will take you to this column tools tab and inside this here you can see a options called as the sort by right so just click on this drop down then click on sort by order okay order means this column in this column we have given the order to this all this product name right so here you have to select the order column and then again click on this particular chart okay then remove this product name and again drag the same product name column into this x-axis from the sort table and now here you can see this is the sequence as per our requirement right refrigerator should come first here you can see this is the refrigerator then tv then mobile phone then ac then cooler okay here you can see the last column is showing the data for the cooler right so in this way we can give a order or we can give a sequence to x axis as for our requirement okay and we can achieve our goal but remember to achieve this we have so many different way but out of there this is one method all right so thanks for watching take care bye bye